Hello everyone, welcome to your soundproof guide. Today I'll be talking to you about how to soundproof barn doors inside your home. Barn doors are becoming more and more popular as you are probably well aware, but the first thing that usually comes to mind for most people when they see these types of doors are how much noise gets through to the other room. And the answer to that is a lot. There is a lot of noise that actually goes through to the next room from the sliding barn door. But in this video, I will give you eight of the top ways to help stop that noise from getting through. So the first thing you'll want to do here is apply a weather strip. And the reason for this is there will usually be a gap between the wall and the door because the door usually slides over a baseboard. So applying a self-adhesive weather strip to bridge the gap between the barn door and the wall can work very well in reducing some of the noise coming into the next room. Repeat this step on the bottom of the door also. Choose a weather strip that glides well on the floor and closes the gap firmly at the same time. So the next option would be to apply a door sweep. Like most door, adding a door sweep is an inexpensive yet effective way to block some of the sound coming through from the other room. I would probably use a brush style door sweep. I think it would work great on a sliding door because it would not stick to the floor yet still make contact with the floor to make sure it's tightly sealing the gap. So the next thing you could do is install an oversized door. So first off, if you haven't begun your barn door DIY project, then make sure you can get an oversized door. Sometimes people will go the cheaper route and choose to install a regular door on a slider and call this a sliding barn door. This method will leave a major gap where light and sound would be able to get through. If you are on limited budget, you can only afford a regular door, you can make some modifications to make the door bigger. You can add a piece of wood on the inside of the sliding door and paint the door the same color. You might have to scribe the bottom piece to get closer to the baseboard. But when you're working on limited budget, anything can work if you just apply some logic. Another important thing to do is to use quality hardware. So like anything, using these types of quality hardware will make a big impact on the performance of your barn door. You should spend a bit more money and use high quality and sturdy hardware so everything is tight and doesn't rattle and move. An inexpensive rail, for example, might not hold the door properly in place, leaving a tiny crack between the top of the door and the wall. You might not be able to see the crack behind the edge of the door, but you will certainly be hearing more noise coming into the room. Your next option could be to think about hiring a carpenter. Most of the people I talk to that have a barn door have managed to install it themselves. There is nothing wrong with doing these types of DIY projects, but a carpenter that has built and installed these types of doors will probably know how to do a better job. If you don't have much experience building these types of doors, there might be gaps left after insulation. For example, the measurements might be a bit off leaving a gap on either side or the top. Of course, it'll cost a bit more to hire someone, but at least you know that it will be done right if the specific carpenter has experience building barn doors. On to option number seven would be to use soundproof foam corner blocks. Now this is obviously not something that you would think of when soundproofing any type of door, but as you look in the picture, if you have something that looks like this at home, a gap between one and two inches wide between the sliding door and the wall, a foam corner block could be a pretty good option for you. You can attach this acoustical foam block on the entire length of the door. What's nice with this is that it will not cause any damage to the wall when the foam is gliding when opening and closing the door. Now onto our final option would be to install a solid core barn door. If you have some extra cash to spend on this project, there are some wonderful sliding barn door style made of solid wood, which would be called solid core doors. A solid core barn door will give you better sound deadening than a normal hollow core interior door. Any door made of solid wood or even foam core door will perform much better versus glass or hollow core doors as far as sound deadening is concerned. The denser the door, the better. So to end this video, as much as I like sliding barn doors, I don't think I would ever have any in my home. There is absolutely no way I could hope to soundproof the door with three young boys living under my roof. They would surely knock it off the rails and have it destroyed sooner or later. So please let us know if you were successful in reducing noise coming through the barn door and if there's anything we forgot to mention. Thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe to our channel to be updated for any new content 
that we will be providing for you in the future. Thanks a lot.